Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khan, host on Click Digest, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a complete review of the Honor B from Huawei. The Honor B is a very compact as well as low-priced phone, designed keeping in Indian customers in mind. It is priced at five thousand rupees and comes with some interesting specifications. To start with, it comes with a four point five inch display, which is really good in terms of appearance as well as quality. The color quality is very good here. It comes with a quad-core CPU, has one GB of RAM. It comes with dual SIM capabilities. It's a 3G phone and comes with expandable memory. It can run basic tasks easily. In this video, I'm going to give you a comprehensive review of all that you need to know. Let's get started. I'll start with the design of the phone, and in terms of design, it fits very easily in hand. It has been ergonomically designed for single-handed operation. You can reach from one end to other very easily. On the right hand side of the phone you have the power or wake up key followed by the volume rocker which is just on top of it conveniently placed uh, for easily reaching with your right hand on top you have a 3.5mm audio port followed by a standard charging port on the bottom you have primary microphone hole the left side is also totally clean and there are no ports on the left side on the rear there is an 8 megapixel camera which comes with dual led flash and auto focus it also supports full high definition video recording the back is openable and it houses uh, the SIM card slots. SIM 1 and SIM 2 both are micro SIM cards and there is also a space for adding a micro SD card for expanding the memory. It comes with 8 GB internal memory out of which 5 GB is user available. The battery capacity on this phone is 1730 mAh and with the kind of specs that this phone has, it should be able to last easily for more than one day if you are a light user and one full day if you are a moderate to heavy user. In terms of design, the phone is fairly simple. On front, it gets a 2 megapixel camera, which is uh, right up top next to the earpiece. Talking about the display quality, the display quality here is fairly good and the colors also come out to be nice. However, the viewing angles are not that great. It tends to get dark too soon when you look at it from an angle, but we do not complain because it's priced at only 5000 rupees and we have not seen very high quality displays on 5000 rupees phones. In this price segment, it's among the best that you can get in terms of display quality. And let me quickly show you a video playback here as well to give you an idea of how rich the colors are when it comes to watching videos on this. Again, the clarity is very good, but the viewing angles are not that great. And my observation is that it is not very loud when it comes to audio playback. Let me uh, measure the same with an audio meter that we have got here. So I'll just uh, turn it on and set it to monitor the maximum decibel levels. And now let's play a music track on this phone and find out where it maxes out. So the maximum level that it is reaching is around 85.8 dBA that is the maximum loudness and it's not very loud per se it's moderately loud only. After audio and video test let me talk about the camera on this phone and interestingly the camera is fairly good. Uh, it's better than my expectations and it's giving me very sharp and clear pictures. Let me show you some of the shots that I have taken with this phone and this is one of the uh, camera pictures looks very nice and the clarity and detailing in the image is also fairly good you can see here on your screen I also took a front facing camera selfie with the 2 megapixel camera and I am impressed with the the way it has been taking selfies and pictures with the front facing camera the clarity and detailing is good for a 2 megapixel sensor or a 2 megapixel front facing shooter also one more thing worth noting here is that it comes with the full high definition video recording so you can actually record uh, uh, 1080p videos and let me play back a video which I have taken with this. So this is a very short uh, video. It's recorded in full high definition and yes this phone is priced at 5000 rupees but it still does record full high definition videos. Now let's talk about the performance. The performance of this phone is uh, somewhere moderate. It is part with a 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU 
and on N22 we got a score of 19,370 which is uh, moderate at best but in 5000 price segment it is still decent. There is Mali 400 GPU and a 32 bit quad core CPU with the 8 GB internal memory and 5 GB available memory that uh, we have tested on this phone. It does not come with direction or G sensor. It has acceleration sensor, light sensor for ambient light support and it also has proximity sensor. That's all when it comes to sensor support. And let me quickly show you the storage settings so that you can have a look at the same. And one more thing that we saw on this phone is that it does support uh, saving applications directly onto the SD card. So you can select in storage settings whether you want to store your applications or install applications on the SD card or uh, the internal storage. So we also tested the Ninamark uh, benchmarks and we got a score of 62.3 frames per second which suggests that at the given resolution this phone is capable of pulling off decent uh, video quality and frames per second. Now without further wasting any time let me show you a quick gameplay demo to show you how good it uh, does when it comes to gaming. So we are playing a very basic game here which is the Subway Surf and I'm not sure whether it will be able to play heavy games or not but here the touch responsiveness as well as the display quality is moderate and uh, it's playing this game with ease there is no problem here talking about the software and features it is part with a android kitkat build which is 4.4.2 and it runs uh, the emotion light ui on top of it which is huawei's own skin and you can see it here it's fairly simple and easy and user friendly there are no application drawers but there are home screens which give you all the access to widgets and applications to organize things better you can create folders so it's a flat sort of UI which is very easy and comfortable to use it's very simple and easy to get used to talking about the value for money aspect of this phone this is priced at only 5000 rupees and gives you a decent set of cameras with 8 megapixel rear and 2 megapixel front facing camera a good display slightly lower than average loudness when it comes to speaker quality and is overall a good value if you are looking for a good smartphone with 1 GB of RAM in 5000 rupees price segment. So it is a thumbs up from us and if you want to pick up one for yourself I am leaving a direct link in the description section below. This is all we have on this video we hope you enjoyed watching it don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos make sure you hit the red subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching.